Hey folks, Justin Thayer, TeamThayer.com. I'm here with Brandon Thayer, and we're going to talk about Than Merrill's Fortune Builder House Flipping uh, Review or House Flipping Seminar. Right? So they did a, in Eugene, Oregon, they did a ton of advertising, or I believe it's already done, or doing a ton of advertising. Yeah, it's like all over the radio. It's really annoying. All over the radio. Uh, they inviting personally on Facebook, right, uh, on their free seminar on how to flip houses. But it's a scam. But it's a scam. I am a licensed real estate broker. My wife's a licensed real estate broker. I was an investor. I've been a real estate broker for a decade. I was an investor before that. That really was flipping houses in in the in Oregon, in Eugene, Lake County, in particular Eugene, and have a lot of knowledge on this subject. Okay. So basically, first and foremost, Fan Merrill, the star of A&E's, but this house is not going to be there. He's not there. Right. Me and my wife checked it out. Right, because we really wanted to see what was going on just for our own education, right? To see what people were being told, and how many people were there, and how many people were walking around with bad information now. Um, uh, because I assumed the information was not going to be good. So, and, and of course, some of the information was fairly accurate, uh, but it's not information that you couldn't get from a simple Google search or calling any of the 850 local realtors in Lane County. But, really bothered me about the situation is it was completely set up to separate naive people from their money all right so you have you know uh, you get a short video from fan right who's he does a video so you see him on a video uh, a lot of hype and hoopla on the video and then you have a guy who comes out and starts giving the information does a speech you know um, you have a the back wall is full of guys lined up with computers and, and whatnot and they're the one thing they got one thing they're gonna do and that is take credit card payments applications and things of that nature to get your money for you to sign up for all this great information and the real the thing that really struck me as just over over the top where I felt like this is just too much is you know giving people the impression that they would even partner with them and give them money so they could flip houses okay um, you know what I'm uh, uh, I had the opportunity to actually speak with a gal they they bring a subject uh, uh, there was a gal from the Seattle area in, in this case out who's supposed to be a success story right um, in, in a sense was uh, from the Northwest, so it's one out of the whole Northwest. You, they bring this gal out that was a success story who came up and talked about, you know, and you know, it, you always know it, it's a scam when they have to tell you a sob story and, right, they're down to luck, husband had cancer, uh, the gal had lost her job, and this program had kind of saved her from the perils of doom, and now she's rich, right? Um, which a lot of this actually was true, but what you don't know is this gal actually had her own money, right? And they did they did help her, right? But once again, any real estate broker like myself or have with knowledge would have helped her for free, right? She used her own money. Right, so the information that she got from them was free, and you know what? I had a chance to talk with the gal after uh, the show. Right, uh, they actually, I left me and my wife were leaving early, a bit early. Right, and we just happened to meet in the parking lot because, of course, they shuttled her right out of there, and so they can get to closing. And you know what? Yeah, she was paid to be there, and we really got the scoop. And you know, I kind of had to say, well, you realize th th you'd have been actually better off with a real estate broker and you know what I even really kinda got her to the understanding that really what would happen is they kinda got her with a real estate broker and that's where the success had come from is it was her own money so um, yeah over the top uh, thing it was just set up around getting money from people who didn't know any better right so halfway through the seminar they have a break and half the people didn't come back. Everybody with sense didn't come back. You had a lot of older people 
I, I remember it was so sad. A guy wheeling up there in his wheelchair as fast as he could. He didn't. He didn't have the money to spend on this. He put. He put two hundred dollars on a credit card. Right. They had this early bonus thing, and they're going to give you something special if you came at this time before the break and did a two hundred dollar. And of course, people rushing up there thinking they're going to miss out on this. Of course, they're not. You could have given them money anytime. Um, this early bonus information packet. If you give them two hundred dollars right then, and you know what? A lot of people. Uh, the older age, a lot of people who didn't even own homes in the first place, right, were just really trying to figure out how to come up with the money. I remember people around me uh, kind of saying, oh, I wish I had the money. I would, you know, definitely in invest in this. And it, it was sad. Like I said, everybody at that seminar, at the, the Fan Merrill uh, Wealth Builder Seminar, with any sense, left, right? Um, and, and what remained at the what I call the money grab portion was the people who really shouldn't have been giving the money. It was uh, it was sad to me. It was unethical for sure. Um, and I'm going to give this recommendation to anybody wanting or thinking they should go to or thinking of spending money on the Fan Merrill Seminar is just call a real estate agent or call your real estate broker. Call an investment specialist. Ask around. Right? Any, anybody could have called me, got all the same information. Right? I could have hooked them up with private money if they qualify, right situation. And I charge nothing right up front. Right? The only, right? If I sell a home, I get a commission for the sale of the home. But so does everybody. Even if you use Stan Merrill, you still pay me if I'm the, the real estate broker involved, right? And I'm not even saying people should use me. I'm just saying for everybody, right, just don't give them the money. It, it, man, it, if it's too good to be true, it is. It is too good to be true. All right, that's it for me, Justin Thayer, TeamThayer.com, the protege, the youngest member of Team Thayer, Brandon, Brandon Thayer. And I have one thing to say. What do you got to say, Ben? Some people say that miracles happen every day, but this isn't a miracle. It's a scam. <laughs> That's a scam. Take it from a 10-year-old real estate protege or the most award-winning commission salesman in Lane County. TeamThere.com. Thanks. See you next time.